So remember the movie Arrival where understanding an alien language changes how humans perceive time? What if I told you that Chinese with its unique connection between meanings and symbols similarly influences how we engage with concepts and ideas? In my last video, I made a pretty bold statement. Chinese as a logographic system operates on a cognitive level by linking symbols directly to ideas, allowing for a more intuitive processing of meaning compared to phonetic languages, which rely on arbitrary sound patterns that require additional cognitive decoding. A lot of you found that really interesting. Thank you. So today I'm diving deeper into your idea, taking you up with some real linguistics and cognitive studies to see if their truth is claimed. Unlike English or Italian or even Arabic and Korean, which uses phonetic alphabets, where letters represent sounds, Chinese is logographic. This means that its characters represent meanings or morphemes rather than just sounds. Linguist Geoffrey Samson in Variety Systems explains how logographic systems like Chinese link written symbols directly to ideas. For example, the character for tree visually represents a tree, offering a direct connection to the concept. Now, does this make Chinese more logical? I think in some ways, yes, because when you look at a Chinese character, you're engaging directly with the meaning rather than constructing it from abstract phonetic units. For example, you can actually read a Chinese character and understand its meaning, not being able to read out loud, like you don't know the pronunciation, but you don't know what it means by just looking at it. Like, it's crazy, and you cannot do that with phonetic languages. But it's important to note that most modern Chinese characters also have phonetic elements. So it's not purely a direct conceptual link anymore. Another very interesting cognitive research is Reading in the Brain by Stanislas Dean. Sorry for the pronunciation. He points out that logographic systems like Chinese activate different parts of the brain compared to alphabetic languages. This suggests that Chinese might engage our brains in a more conceptual or visual way when reading, whereas phonetic alphabets engage auditory processing areas. Now, compared to alien language in arrival, Chinese doesn't quite reshape how we perceive time. But I think we can actually say that the way Chinese connects written symbols to meanings could potentially lead to a different kind of mental processing, or visual, or even more spatial. But I'm not a neuroscientist. If you are, leave a comment. Thank you for your attention, and thank you guys so much for your support and for being interested in something I could possibly talk for like hours. So, okay, bye. Ciao.